hey guys welcome back to my channel um you know something has been bugging me and it's the fact that i am so bad at setting boundaries and it's really really messing with me because it makes me uncomfortable so so much the fact that i don't know how to set boundaries or rather it always feels like it's easier to set boundaries with strangers as opposed to setting boundaries with your loved ones and i'm trying to learn to tap into that because i feel like it will help me in how i navigate through life am i a people pleaser why am i so afraid of confrontation why is it so difficult for me to say no why do i always overextend myself i'm constantly leading from kindness because honestly there's so many assholes in this world being one more kind of person makes the world a better place i always want to make my loved ones happy i want to contribute towards making their lives better and easier where i can but me being me i always go overboard and in the end it always backfires i'm learning that my lack of setting boundaries stems from my childhood because as a black child you grow up in a home where you basically have no voice you're dealing with parents who shout at you when they're frustrated so no one's really sitting you down and having conversations with you or talking to you it almost feels like everybody talks at you it's just screams and punishments. So you grow up and you become an adult who lacks boundaries and who has zero conflict resolution skills. I believe in kindness and generosity. My love language is giving. Giving love, giving time, giving gifts and giving myself. I always want to make my loved ones lives easier. So I'm always overextending myself and I'm always trying to, to give a helping hand and this is a good thing. This is who I am. This is who I always want to be. This is who I always choose to be. However, if there's no boundaries and if there's no conflict resolution skills, everything can easily go wrong and create resentment. Today I was like, you know what, let me be young and go out and about and go see the city at night. I literally think the first time of going out, like into the streets, like going out, having a drink at night in town. I haven't done that since I got here and I haven't even been having any full milk. So one as well, no full milk. It is what it is. I hope there's no echo. If there is, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I haven't had beer full milk. So, but today I'm like, ah. I've got nothing to lose let me go out and see what's out there and that's the nice thing about going out when you want to go out no pressure you do it at your own pace come back up out of time that it's so windy what the hell i'll do for me i'm like why is this weather doing me it's always a reason chow it's so windy i'm out of outfits i am totally out of outfits and i need to get a spoon in my house Cold fans and if I my makeup at West End. I shouldn't have to do it, get it run. I'm in Cape Town. But I left my makeup there and I've just been finessing the entire time. Let do not face. And then I will see you guys when I've been done. I'm done with my makeup, guys. I don't even know if I like my makeup. I especially my eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> In my outfit too i literally don't know what's going on with me but at least i'm going out you know it's one thing at a time you guys already know it's my home girl this perfume is such a showstopper and i promise it smells so good mm. it smells like money it smells delicious it's that perfume you know when everybody hugs you it's like or when somebody walks past you it's like mm, you smell so good and i'm like yes i need I do be smelling so good. Um, but one thing about me, I don't know, I don't know how to put on a perfume. Like, I don't know what's happening, but yeah, don't mind the mess there, cause chow, it's a lot happening. But that's my makeup for the day. If you can see my mistakes, you're standing too close. You need to step away, sir. Step away a little bit. <laughs> my one eyelash is gonna fly away. 
That is super cute. Let's get out of here. like a live performance desire is performing if you don't know desire you're literally playing yourself but we just got you now it's so windy but here it's not as windy as it is back home my eyebrows are so straight <laughs> i look so ridiculous i kind of like it though it's kind of cute well not me dropping my handbag what the fuck oh my god thank you I'm me dropping my handbag. It's because I'm busy vlogging. But we just got to the venue now. <laughs> I bet this is time. I don't want to run there and then like get all sweaty and shit. The wind is crazy. Thank God for that Pluto because wow. My hair would be flying off. My friend's leaving me. He's literally so far. Huh? I can't walk any faster than this. We just got ya. Oh wow, it's actually quite intimate and small. It's smaller than I thought it was. Let's see what's happening. beautiful day ever today was just so perfect i was in and out for dinner but i really don't feel like going out for dinner um the third minute anyway, let me finish washing my face and doing my skincare routine my skincare routine i promise washing my face every night has changed my <laughs> washing my face has an, at night has literally changed my entire entire life i was wondering why my skin was breaking out so bad and it's that time of the month now i wash my face and then i use a wet wipe i know the skincare guru in the comments are gonna be like that's not what you're supposed to do oh but it works for me susie <laughs> i'm just joking but no for real it does work for me my mom hates it when i wipe my face with white towels should i better leave hope go 
red hair. There's only white towels. What am I supposed to do? I Cape Town the wind is insane, guys. The wind in Cape Town is so crazy to me. I'm just like, what was the reason? What was the bloody reason? No matter how tired I am, I always have time for my face that I'm lying because sometimes when I'm tired, I only like, I cheat my skincare routine at night. I literally cheated so bad. Okay, so the, the half half was there. Now that I get it, I, I wouldn't shoot like a, I don't think I'd shoot like a skincare routine. At least not now because I am not even true, truthful to my own, or I'm not even faithful or that to my skin routine because the la la again is mad. I promise washing my face and actually just put it on some creams like at least four times a week doing like my face twice a day it's improved my skin so so much i need a fan i need to get those little ferns because another reason i hate skincare routines is that you have to wait like a certain amount of time like five minutes in between your products and i'm like chill at night another time do like a whole task like your and just get into bed i can nap or hey like i don't have time to wait for my five minutes or whatever. But I believe in night cream more than I believe in myself. Literally, just the night serum and some night cream. And my mom always says to put uh, to apply my skin product upwards, like to stretch out my skin and to make sure that it doesn't hang down. So like that. I don't know if that actually works, but I guess if you do anything consistently, it always works so i am ready to go to bed now it's cut so glana manch it's cut so glana manch can we go look for pajamas i never know where my pajamas are and bloody pajama down bought i said i feel like i wear pajamas to bed but i always wake up naked because in the middle of the night i get so irritable i literally end up taking off everything but the mosquitoes in this house, honey. The mosquitoes in this house, they will have fun with your naked body. So, it wasn't I've been here. I've actually been committing to pajamas. So, let me go change. Okay, hot it. I can actually mix. Little chup chups today, my God, for us. It is so hot, you guys. Ushu ushu, okay? It is damn hot. I don't understand this. It's like summer all over again. You would swear like we're not transitioning into a whole different season. I even took off my oversized shirt because it's so hot even. But I took it with me because gotta take pictures, you know, for the gram. <laughs> not me who is preaching about the gram being back on the gram. What can a girl do? Gotta pay the bills, bro. Gotta pay the bills. It sucks. It sucks that this is how it goes, but this is how it goes. My Uber's here. So I forgot to put on perfume. How ghetto. So ghetto. So good. So hot. As soon as we get to the market, we're getting ice cream. Because. Woo! This is what we did. I hope we find it. I also want to wait my one. My ice cream. You want your ice cream? Yeah. Okay. Get your ice cream. Do you think the rose I'll buy for you too. Yeah. 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 Lucky you, it's your lucky day. Yeah. It's hot, everyone yeah. should have ice cream. Yeah. 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 Oh, but they do have sunflowers. I'm all for aesthetics. I literally got something that would look aesthetically pleasing with my outfit. I should actually get a picture with this. But got my flowers. I'm done with all my shopping. 
I wanna go get something to eat. Maybe get some ice cream. Let's first get ice cream. I don't know how this makes sense. It's called being an adult and having free will. If it was my mom taking me out, she'd be like, first have your food and then ice cream, but I guess I can do vice versa. I'm gonna have ice cream first and then food after. These are so good. What flavor is this one? Uh, that's an apple crumble. No, not apple. I thought it was nuts. The nice thing about Cape Town is that you can walk. I love the fact that we walk everywhere. We're walking down to the shops. And it's a bit like so the further down, but it's literally the best. I enjoy it so much. Even though the weather's changed a bit, the weather is so pretty. It was so hot earlier on. I literally can't believe how hot it is now. But the walks are live. Like they literally give me life. It's so nice. I love it. I feel safe. It doesn't feel like I'm risking my life. Somebody's gonna come and snatch my phone or whatever. It's literally so nice. I'm drinking some water. I'm being about me. I believe in water more than I believe in myself. And I look so cute. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I look like a gym bunny. I love it here. I'm love it here. I'm gonna go get some food from here. Since Papa is on strike, I need them to come back ASAP now the third day or well, the second day of it being on strike and I'm bored. I'm bored. But at least it forces me to exercise. Well, okay. it's that exercise. It's been ten weeks since your beginning. Your arms have just started moving. I'm already so in love with you. I know that this world won't be easy. Life gets kind of bumpy, I'll be right here holding on to you Since the start, you loved your head I'm so tired and it's not even time to sleep yet, it's still like 7pm It's still a little bit bright outside My only beef is, if I go to bed now I will be so screwed because I'll wake up at midnight again and then will mess up my entire sleeping pattern. Already I have a dizzy sleeping pattern. But it's like ever since I've been in Cape Town, I've literally been able to like um, kind of finesse a sleeping pattern, except on days when I'm working really late. But I've been happy with my sleeping habits, haven't been oversleeping. To come think of it, I actually haven't even been feeling depressed ever since I've been here, it's been two months now, and I am proud to say that I haven't experienced much depression, if not any depression, and I love that for me. So I feel like when I go back home, I just want to kind of like maintain certain routines. Like I, I kind of have an idea of where, of where I've gone wrong. I've got an idea of habits that I have to let go of, and I want to be like, because my apartment back home obviously is mine and I live there all the time. I think I've lost that touch of like romanticizing my own space or romanticizing my own city because I live in Joburg. So it's like, well, whatever, you know, but when I'm in Cape Town, I think the reason I haven't been as depressed or as anxious is simply because I've been romanticizing everything. Even today was such a beautiful day. I'm somebody who lives in their head, who overthinks. So I try and create a beautiful scenery and beautiful thoughts in my mind because that's where I spend most of my time. Oh my God. Like even when I pray and I connect with my God, I cannot believe that I'm a real person, that I am here. Oh my word. To me, it's just wild. It's like, I'm part of something so big in this universe. I contribute so much into the world as much as it's not like extravagant or whatever, but the fact that I am part of nature, it's just so beautiful to me. And you guys know I'm obsessed with nature. So even when I pray, like I feel like, oh my God, there is something so much bigger in this world. 
And it just makes me excited to do certain things and to participate in life because since I'm here, might as well get into it, right? Either that or become miserable. But I am actually going to, um, before I go to bed, because I have like a lot of time before sleeping, I'm going to write down some things that I'm grateful for just to wrap up my day. That just helps to ground me always. Like it really, it grounds me so, so much when I remind myself of the things that I'm grateful for. But remember to practice gratitude. Remember to always find a way to look at your life differently because that will help you enjoy life. But anyway, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But like, 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 and share, or like, share the videos, share the channel. Let us keep growing. I am off to the beach. I packed like a cute little basket, a basket that has some goodies. We're gonna have like a little picnic at the beach. We're gonna have a good day, a very good day. I can just feel it. The weather is beautiful in Cape Town. It's not too windy. It's not too hot. It's just perfect. The Uber is here. So my first stop is in town. I'm going to A4. It's an art gallery. I'm just gonna quickly check it out because it's still like relatively hot. I wanna go to the beach at least when it's sunset vibe. So I'm right in town and I can vlog. Joburg, be ashamed of yourself that I can't vlog in my own city because I'm scared of coming off. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the art gallery now. The robot's close to him. The building looks so good. Let me show you guys. What a cool building. What a cool building. <laughs> Just the space itself, it looks so breathtaking. Oh, thank you. It looks amazing. Oh my god. Sheesh. Ooh. Like even the covers of the books look so good. That almost looks the, like the um, book by Bob books, all about love. So I'm gonna check out the books here. Maybe I'll get something and then go to the beach and have a new read, read a new book. Let's check out more stuff that they have. This is by God. What? It's the amount of black artists for me, right? The photography is just crazy. This is. Good morning, guys. And if you're new around here, welcome. Please stay. Please join the family because I promise you this channel, it's more, it's more, it's different. It's unusual, so you definitely will not regret it. I woke up in such a good mood, but how can I not be in a good mood when the mountain is right in front of me here and this side as well? And this side as well, like the views here are just spectacular. Since I've been in Cape Town, I honestly feel like every morning has been such a good experience for me. 
I am, you guys already know, like I'm obsessed with being outside, being in nature, and this to me is just heavenly. But I also feel like something that also saves me a lot in my life is just how much I romanticize my life. I know I always joke about this and say that I feel like my life is literally an amazing romantic or I don't know just a really really good probably a John Green book like I feel like I'm living out of a John Green book and I constantly have to believe that or look at my life in that perspective so I'm constantly romanticizing my life and I feel like romanticizing my life has saved me so many times it has it saves me not even so many times it literally saves me every single day because it gives me purpose and it gives me a reason to feel alive and to wake up and to look forward to the day and romanticizing my life is essentially just me appreciating and finding beauty and joy in the smallest of things in life things like i just love sitting like for instance i love waking up in the morning listening to the birds chirp and just watching like the sun rise just looking up into the sky touching and feeling plants that's my vibe those are the things that really really make me happy it's always the little things for me and romanticizing my life is also it goes as far as like planning my days like oh my god today i'm gonna have this kind of day romanticizing something as little as making myself a cup of coffee which i'm really really and I mustn't forget about it, otherwise it's going to get cold. Every time I shoot a YouTube video having like a hot beverage, it always gets super cold because I don't know how to multitask, right? I don't know how to do too many things at once. If I'm talking, I'm talking and I'm very theatrical when I speak. I speak with my hands, so I mustn't forget my coffee. But like, yeah. even romanticizing something as little as my coffee or making myself breakfast, but I don't even like making like food or cooking or whatever I hate that so even with that like you don't have to complicate your life and do things that you're not into like for instance I know I don't like cooking so I like ordering in I'll order in a good breakfast something with granola strawberries or whatever that's me but sometimes then maybe I'll make that and if I'm making it I'll make it seem like it's such a thing like I've got cameras around me or I've got an author looking at me and writing about me and and those little things really contribute so much to my mental health health and just the way that I look at life because life is all about perspective and once I realized that it really made living so much easier that life is basically that it's perspective it's what you make it out to be it's what you think of it and that's the beauty and joy of it and romanticizing your life doesn't necessarily mean living a lie or curating your life or doing the absolute most for me it's just finding what works for me and not for what other like what not what works for other people because i feel like even that steals a lot of joy from us comparing ourselves with other people or even with this culture of social media of these new trends of self-care videos where you see girlies perfuming their houses candles and you know like this over dramatic aesthetic lifestyle where you have you need to have a fancy apartment a fancy shower a fancy this a fancy that and we see a lot of that on social media and i can only imagine what it does to the next person who doesn't have access to those kind of things you know where you feel like you need to have money, you need to live in a certain place, you need to live in a certain apartment before you start enjoying your life. And the minute you start thinking of life in that way, you are screwed because what matters is right now. It's the present moment that matters. What do you have right now and how can you enjoy yourself with what you've got? And I think I learned this so much from my grandmother. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Every time I do YouTube videos, I just get so emotional. But talking about my grandmother also makes me a little bit emotional oh my god you guys probably think that me is so dramatic like i feel like i cry now on every other youtube video i don't know but it's, i just thought about my grandmother like in terms of romanticizing your lives and how i learned that from her um we didn't have much when we were growing, when i was growing up you know but i didn't even know that we didn't have much you know like when you don't know that you're even poor because she had built such a Sorry, guys. I don't know. I'm getting so emotional. 
and to drink my coffee. Eat. Oh my god, what is going on with me? How am I such a mess? It's okay. <sighs> I actually never I think it's because I never even thought about it that way these thoughts are just coming to me now but I think she raised me in such a way that like I was saying we didn't have much growing up but I didn't even know that we were poor because my grandmother would romanticize her life so much and in her romanticizing her life it made me appreciate the things that we had because she was always like gloating about her stuff like she would gloat about her shack she'd be like her shack is so beautiful she would wake up every morning have it cleaned out the grass would always be cut she'd have a garden you know she'd do all these things to make her life so beautiful i remember how she would wake up early in the morning my grandmother would wake up before sunrise and i'd f like you'd find her sitting outside on the stoop with her cigarettes and just enjoying her life you know and i would come in and sit with her because i used to be a kid who really loved reading and i would just sit with her and read my book and we'd watch the sunrise together and she'd be smoking a cigarette i mean is that not a scene out of a john green book it sounds like it right so that's just how i was raised like even if you don't have much you always have to just find ways to find beauty in the little that you have so I'm just saying this because, like I said, we just live in this age of social media where you'll see people in beautiful clothes and, and you'll be like, I can't be happy until I have that. You see people in their beautiful apartments and you're like, I can't be happy until I achieve that. And you need to romanticize your life. You need to find beauty in your own life and find ways to enjoy your life no matter how you know you feel like you don't have much because like i was saying the the moment that matters is this present moment but i really like sitting here and daydreaming and just thinking of my life as just very interesting like that if i don't do that i feel like i'm constantly going to be depressed and sad because i am already a sad girl not outside but inside you know so i need things keep, to keep me alive and as a person who lives in their head I don't want to be the kind of person who only has like bad thoughts so I try and also create good thoughts because I live in my head and like I said life is perspective so if I think certain thoughts it, it, it creates my own reality my thoughts create my reality and I think also with romanticizing my life going back to my grandmother I feel like gratitude is a big part of romanticizing your life constantly practicing gratitude understanding that you are so blessed in this moment and life is such a blessing on its own as much as it's got its ups and downs but being alive is a gift on its very own i mean why do we cry if somebody dies why do we feel that immense loss because you know they don't get to be here anymore so we're so blessed just to be alive it's all about life is what you make it to be you make your life you sit there and you look at trees different to the next person and you're like trees are gorgeous birds birds blow my mind i'm like how cool is it that these little things can just fly so high you know i it's just like that like and also like i think just being so grateful like being in the moment and being like god thank you for this view thank you for the fresh air thank you for the birds thank you for life itself in every form i am part of something so big on this earth i am grateful for every little blessing clean water a bed a roof over my head and somebody will be like oh you're such a simple person dream bigger want more for yourself don't just be grateful for those little things then i'm like i cannot be I cannot be so fixated on things that I have not achieved yet that I miss out on the things that I have in the present moment. I love being conscious. I love being here. I love being present enough to realize that I am blessed right now because time is also something that we're not sure of. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be here in the future for that future that I so highly dream of and so highly romanticize that, oh my God, I'm going to get this. I'm going to have that. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to be here for that, but what I do know for sure is right now, is this moment, and that's just me and how I romanticize my life. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope it helps you to look at your life a little bit more different and not to feel bad or not to always desire for more and more and miss out on what you currently have. 
I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for every little gift that is bestowed upon me. And gratitude also helps you to, I think it's also a form of just appreciating your manifestations coming into fruition. And I feel like the universe blesses you even more when you are grateful of what the universe gives you. Because if you are not grateful, you might miss your blessing. So every single day, I like in the evening, I like to write my gratitude list and write down all the things that I am grateful for. But essentially, that is me. That is just my heart. And I am grateful for the way that I look at life because if I did not look at life the way that I do, I feel like I would be so miserable. So shout out to romanticizing life and, you know, it's okay to have those performative acts. I love them. I love like just performing for my life, like doing the absolute most, like sitting here, wearing my favorite outfit, looking cute for myself, smelling good, having my coffee and feeling like it is the most beautiful scenery out of a movie or out of a book or it just makes me feel good i know i'm a little bit dramatic but it's the only way for me to stay sane um i'm gonna get going with my day i'm gonna finish having my coffee and just enjoy the view the weather is so lovely today it's not too hot and it's not too cold and i like that so i'm gonna sit here and just enjoy my morning i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and i hope it also encourages you to do the same to go out of your way to make your life seem more interesting than it is because probably is it probably is interesting morning silence is the best like i just love how peaceful mornings are mornings are definitely my favorite part of the day i love my mornings like mornings are absolutely crazy.